it's the great Brexit betrayal. BBC audience member blasts idea of half Brexit. IT would be disgraceful to have a Brexit that would keep the UK and the European Union in all but name, a BBC audience member has said. The BBC Brexit cast audience member said Britain is heading for half Brexit, which would betray the British people's vote to leave the Brussels bloc. The audience member, called Will, said, I think we will leave but I think we will just go in the position of half in the European Union to half out the European Union. It would be disgraceful because we voted to leave the European Union and we voted to be an independent and self-governing nation once again. I believe we are seeing right now the great Brexit betrayal happening before our very eyes. Brexiteer Jacob Rees-Mogg has accused Theresa May's government of rolling over for the European Union. He said, as usual, the EU has set out a hard-nosed negotiating stance, we must be equally robust. If the ICWAS, the ECJ and Free Movement remain we would not be in an implementation period but would still be de facto in the EU. I assume that Your Majesty's government will make its own proposals and not roll over in the way it did at the beginning of the process. The European Commission agreed on December 8 that sufficient progress had been made on key Brexit issues to move Brexit negotiations onto the second phase of talks. The Brexit deal received a mix of responses, with some Brexiteer MPs arguing that Britain should leave with no deal. Leave campaigner Nigel Farage said the Brexit deal is pathetic and Theresa May had crossed her red lines. The Prime Minister had to make three concessions to the European Union on a number of issues, including raising the divorce deal to up to pound 39 billion, allowing family members of migrants to move to Britain, and full alignment on the Irish border. Economist Richard Dwellings told the Express.co.uk the public will realise they have been betrayed following the Brexit deal. He said, to me, it seems like they want to hoodwink the British public with a fake Brexit. We would be officially out the customs union and single market but still tied in with the EU's red tape.